Oh, really? I had a good tripod, because this tripod is not it. Okay, before this video even starts, so I just want to say, one, I'm in the bathroom, and that's why you hear the toilet going out, because I might or might not of just taking a uh, shaboink -a boink so that's what's going off in the back also this video is gonna be really inappropriate being the fact that I'm gonna be responding to my followers down bad confessions and if you don't know what a, like the term down bad means I'm gonna pop it up on the screen right now down bad when someone is depressingly horny sees picture of any girl someone who's down bad GRR woof woof bark bark arf arf bark woof woof GRR snarl snarl hoss GRR woof bark you get the point. Yeah, so that's what down bad means. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard like the ticking in the background too. There's a little ghetto setup that I have going on. Because I don't really have a tripod. But um, yeah, so that's that's what down bad means. And um, yeah, I saw this video done by another. I saw this video done by someone. Let me see what his name was. Or on his channel so I can give credit. What is his name? Oh, also, I just got these. These are blue light glasses, and I'm kind of obsessed with them. Help them protect the vision, you know? But, um, I'm trying to find... Okay, I can't really find his, like, channel right now. But once I do find it, I'll just pop it on the screen so you guys can see, like, where I got it from. Because that's me giving credit, so... Yeah. But anyways, not only am I going to be reacting to my followers' down bad confessions, but throughout the process, if you've been here for a minute, you know that your boy Lee got some Dan Dan problems, okay? I got the Dan Dan. And if you don't know what Dan Dan is, I got the, the dandruff, okay? And my scalp is super dry. Two days ago, though, I look white as shit right here. Two days ago, or three, maybe three or four days ago, I put apple cider vinegar in my ear, and I did like a whole hot oil treatment the day before that, you know, trying to get rid of the dandan. And what I found worked best for me was the apple cider vinegar to clean my scalp. So I'm gonna be doing that while I'm reacting to my followers' down bad confessions. And yeah, um, and if we have time, I also want to cut my nails because they're long as shit. If you can't tell, I think you can tell. They're just long as shit. So we're gonna do that. And um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. Um, okay, so I'm not exactly too sure how I'm gonna do this. It's 12.01 p.m. My hair is super dry. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap into some of these down bad confessions. Now, I've not been through these yet. I asked my like the followers on my spam account, which you know, if you're not the spam fam is where it's at. That's all I'm trying to say. Now let's go ahead and um, yeah, I had asked my followers on my spam account for their down bad confessions, and when I tell you that. They, they came through with the confessions okay now what I'm not gonna do is expose my followers because we don't we don't rock like that so I'm not sure if I'm just gonna cut off their Instagram handle or just not pop it up on the screen because that's a lot of editing work but yeah I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do but I do have all these I do have all these confessions right here and we're gonna go ahead and just respond to them I'm low-key kind of nervous because I don't know just down bad confessions but before we do that we should definitely just start putting this in my here um maybe i should grab a towel all right so we got a towel we got a towel and i have never actually put this in my myself my aunt did it for me last time and typically i know when you do this i've seen people do it with a spray bottle but because i don't have a spray bottle i'm just gonna pour it on my scalp and with hopes that it does not literally just drip everywhere also in the background i have a lot of family over um i got two aunts my uncle a lot of little cousins everywhere my grandparents are here so there's a lot going on but um yeah that's the background noise but as of right now we're gonna go ahead and do this oh my god this stinks okay let's do this should i just hello uh-huh you better like and subscribe or I'm gonna or I'm gonna come to your house and tickle you to death, okay? I have yeah, good point. I can tell you I haven't solved yet. Get over here! Get out! Let me introduce you to my family. All right, let's do this. Um, I just want to kind of separate my hair. For, like I just kind of... I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. All right, so we're gonna start down the middle. I feel like that would just be, I don't even know if this is down the middle. We're just gonna start right here to damp it. Or not damp it, what do you call it? Just 
That literally almost went in my eye. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, we're gonna start with the first one, okay? Oh, my head's burning already. Um, okay, so the first, I don't feel like I could do this. I feel like maybe, should I? I want shit. Come! <laughs> you know, the family was doing whatever they had to do and stuff in here, so. But let's go ahead and put this stuff in my hair because I really want to just put it in my scalp. I don't think this is the right way to do it, but it's a way to do it. Three, two. Okay, again, I'm gonna say this one more time because these are not, these are not, like they didn't go back. So if you're younger and you know you're not supposed to be watching like inappropriate stuff or hearing inappropriate stuff, literally click off this video because it's, gonna, it's about to get inappropriate. Like it's about to get really inappropriate. So one more time. And if your parents are here and they can hear you or they can hear me saying this to you guys, if your child is watching my video and they're not like, obviously they're not supposed to, or I don't know how y'all parenting styles are but if they're a minor if they're younger and they're not supposed to be on if they're younger i would suggest for you guys to just click off my video or tell them get off my video because this is not um i don't really make i don't make content like this all the time but i thought it would be cool to just you know respond to some confessions while cleaning my scalp so click off because it's about to get inappropriate The, we're gonna start off strong, okay? The first down bad confession is I gave head to a guy and kissed my boyfriend knowing the nut in my mouth. <laughs> That's dirty. That is dirty. That is so bad. Ah, it's in my ear. I gave head to a guy and kissed my boyfriend knowing he nuts in my mouth. Yeah! Yeah! I was so convinced he was for me that I apologized for him cheating on me. Hold on, I don't know if I'm reading that right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, I was so convinced he was for me that I apologized for him cheating on me. Um, where did he do that at? Oh, uh, we're gonna need to have a little discussion, cause don't you ever apologize to anybody for, especially when they're not treating you the way they should be, or if they kind of played you, like that's when we're supposed to love ourselves enough to know to walk away. Doesn't matter how much you care for that person, you should always care for yourself more, love yourself more, because uh, why would you, um, why would you allow somebody to literally cheat on you and then you apologize because you wanted them back or because you thought he was for you? See, I feel like everybody needs a Lee in their life because y'all would not be doing shit like this. No. Y'all would definitely not be doing shit like this. Wait, let's... All right, so I got the apple cider vinegar in my hair now. I'm just let that sit for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone so it can let me know when the 30 minutes is up, starting now. But um, somebody said, I don't know if this is down bad, but I like to yell mom at my deaf mom, at my deaf mother. I don't, that's not a down bad confession, love. That is just messed up. Truly just messed up, bro. Oh my gosh. That's just messed up, bro. Um, let's see. I used my dildo on my ex-husband's ass and he came in two minutes. I hate myself. There is so much red flags in this one confession. Like, there's so much red flags. <laughs> Look, I don't judge nobody's sex life because do what you gotta do, do what you gotta do. But things like this should have been kept in the draft. You should have saved that one for a rainy day or something cause um, this confession says, I'm so desperate to feel loved. I'm letting a man who showers twice a week talk to me crazy. <laughs> nah, bro. You letting a musty person talk to you? You letting a musty motherfucker talk to you crazy? Nah, you could keep that one. Next confession, I used to be under my bed at night because I was scared to go to the bathroom. But it's not really down bad. You were just scary. I mean, we all been there before. Been there, done that. Well, I don't ever think I peed under the bed. One thing I did used to do when I was younger, but this wasn't because I was scared, it's because I was lazy. I would eat, like my mom would serve me food or my grandparents or whatever, and I would eat, right? So let's say if it was like chicken, like if it was like rice, beans, chicken, like I would eat the food or whatever, but then I would take the plate and the bones and literally just put it underneath the couch cushion. cushion? Cushion, cushion. Un I would put it underneath the couch 
cushion. Just because I didn't want to get up and have to throw it away. Hello? Hello? You, you, you're taking a video? Yeah. Can I take a dump? You can. I'm going to be talking inappropriately. Is that okay with you? I don't give a shit. I'm going to be doing something inappropriately there in that toilet. Yeah, so I was really lazy and I would just take the plates and the food that I would like after I, I'd eat i will take the plate and like the leftover bones and literally just put it underneath the couch cushion The couch cushion because I was so lazy, but I don't think that's a down bad confession. So I'm gonna let you slide though uh, uh, Let's see so the next down bad confession is Are you gonna brush your teeth right now? Ah. All right, all right, now that we're back in action, now that we're good, I can't promise that family won't, you know, come in and out because I am in a main part of the house, which is the bathroom, and we all be needing to shaboink boink every now and then, so it's all good, but let's continue with the confession. So, I totally want you to Okay. Okay, I'm totally leaving you alone. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so, I know you're so annoyed right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I really want you to smell the flowers. Blow the candles. Blow the candles? Yeah. Alright, now that we are finally, finally alone. Now we're good. Now we should be good. The next confession is gonna be still in love with a boy that cheated on me. And you know what? I can't knock nobody for being in love with somebody that played them or cheated on them because at the end of the day, you love who you love and like you couldn't control that person's actions, if that makes sense. So like once you like I'm a big believer in once you love someone, you can never unlove a person. So I completely understand where you're coming from. But again, this is where you have to find that like self-love and kind of like push yourself to know that you deserve better. You definitely deserve better. So yeah. Uh, let's see. The next down bad confession we have is I like my cousin. So you telling me we live on one big ass planet, right? Wait, how many people are on Earth? So through Google, okay, it says her in 2021. Through Google, we have seven. Wait, is that billions or? One, ten, hundred thousand, ten, seven, hundred thousand, yeah. So we have seven billion, seven hundred and ninety-four million, seven hundred and ninety-eight thousand, seven hundred and thirty-nine. I think I said that wrong. We have 7.7 .7 billion people on this earth and you like your cousin, your relative? No. That's, um... No, I'm not gonna condone it. So that's for the bird, the birds, the bees. <sighs> no. Okay. Next down bad confession is I have a thing with a guy nine years older than me. I'm 18 and no one around me supports it. So this is my thing with stuff like that, right? I like I can't really judge you based on what's going on only because I don't know the type of person you are, or the type of person this guy is, and like if he has together is he like stable does he treat you well you know what i mean like because believe it or not a lot of younger females are attracted to older guys and uh, for what i can't really tell you because i don't know but yeah i don't want to say the wrong thing and then f up, like what i got going on so i'm not gonna say anything about this but if you genuinely have love for each other i say f what everybody else gotta say just like that next down bad confession says when the guy and i were at a track meet i would take pics of him and he found out and dm'd me so you were just taking pictures of a guy like randomly what what oh what really what, what? i don't understand what's that's that's a little weird love that's a little weird just a little weird i knew his sister was enrolled in a daycare so i got a job there so i could see him and talk oh do you guys go to these extents oh um, so wait let me now like if you're watching this video did you guys are you guys a thing now are you guys making it a thing like like what's i want to know i want to keep up with this one because you went out of your way to to shake the room did you shake it or not that's what i want to know <laughs> the next down bad confession is oh my gosh this person said one time i was doing the do and my period started but i told the guy that my cherry popped Okay, I've heard a lot of positive things about period sex, but cherry pop, you ain't had to lie to my mans like that. You ain't had to lie to bro like that. He probably felt good though. He probably felt like the man. Um, 
So this next down by confession says, I had two guy best friends and developed feelings for both of them. Not at the same time. I ended up telling them and they both rejected me. I mean, I'm okay. I'm proud of you. Okay. I'm proud of you because one, a lot of people are not confident enough to even go out of their way to express how they feel. So for you to express your feelings to both of them, that just, you know, you were confident. You were good. You, you took the risk. And you know what? Rejection is life thing. It's part of life. Not for me because I don't go out of my way to tell people shit. But, you know, it's just part of life, and you're chilling now, so. Oh my god. Somebody said, I've been making TikToks about him like we're dating. We don't even text weekly. <laughs> you guys are bad. This is not good. Like, I'm, um, like, huh? <laughs> okay, um, um. Alright. Alright. So I had to leave from the bathroom because that was just a lot. There's a lot going on in there. So I'm gonna keep on with these confessions though. So the next down bad confession is um, I used to sneak out to suck his in his car at midnight and then you put the sad face and the heartbroken face to it. So I'm guessing you guys aren't like a thing anymore. Um I wouldn't say that's like terrible because I feel like kind of normal. Because like actually that's not normal. Let me go to your page. Can't even see your page, but um, I don't think it's normal either. You probably, you probably shouldn't be doing what you what you were doing. So I hope you take that as a learning lesson and you stay your ass inside doing some homework or something. So that. another down bad confession is I'm literally ex who cheated on me. See, this is what I don't. Y'all let these guys like treat you guys like literally do like do the bare minimum treat you guys like shit and then you guys just fall for it all over again now at that point i don't know bro i don't know i don't know i'm just disappointed bro i messed with my best friend while dating my ex and now me and my best friend are dating hmm. you mess with your best friend while dating your ex and now you and your best friend are dating well at least you guys are dating at least it wasn't like a fling or like a and ain't nothing wrong with flings either but i'm just saying at least you didn't waste your time i was on a date with my best friend on national boyfriend day while my boyfriend was at home damn wait is it your best best is it like your best friend or is it like your best friend you know what i mean you 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 get what i'm putting down like another down bad confession is yo i low-key have the fattest crush on my ex's sister love from nz where's nz is that netherlands that's definitely new zealand and i said netherlands like a dumb um that was dumb sorry but thank you so much for the love and also i mean it didn't work out with the sister so you got another sister Next one says, I f***ed my stepbrother before I knew he was my brother. To this day, he still flirts with me. That's that's a little too close to home for me. Technically, you guys aren't blood, though. How long has he been your stepbrother? Is it like a recent thing or has it been like for a while? Because, you feeling me? Another down bad confession is, I was literally going to let somebody finger me while on my period, but didn't. Well, um, thank God you didn't. Because that could have been messy. So, kudos to you. <laughs> Another so um this next um <laughs> this next confession this this next confession says I studied shit about astrology for like a week so I could f this one John. Long story short, I ain't get a because her mom came home early. I am dead. Imagine wasting your time. Imagine I'm not into astrology because I just have never gotten into it, so I don't really know much about it. But me being someone that's not into it, imagine me literally wasting my entire time just doing this with us with like my sole intentions of you know like sleeping with somebody and then, then you don't even get to sleep with them. Like you just wasted a lot of your time, bro. But now you know about astrology. So another confession is uh, jerking off to someone's bitmoji. That's when you know you're down bad. How are you uh, a bit moji bro a bit moji oh my god wait i'm actually gonna put the timer on for because 30 minutes just went off i don't know if you heard it but i'm gonna put it on for another 10 just so it could really soak in there so i have another 10 on the thing and yeah i put another 10 minutes on my timer and then we're gonna go rinse it out Okay, so another down bad confession. She goes, I spent $60 on Ubers to see old boy and he gave and gave him head on the sidewalk in front of houses. Oh, and one time it happened in a damn bush. I felt like a prostitute. Oh my gosh. First of all, you spending $60 to go see a man or to go see somebody. You spent money, gave him head and it couldn't even be in a bed or in a room. Like you did it on a 
sidewalk in front of houses different houses and in a bush not even a bed <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, this is a longer one, so let's see. I was so down bad, I traveled two hours on a train to see my ex who I hadn't seen in nine months. Then got stuck on the train coming back home for like one hour cause the rails broke down. Then I got home at like 11.30 after everything. My mom thought I was at my friend's place, which is only 20 minutes away. I don't know how I was sneaky enough, but I did it. In the end, it wasn't even worth it cause he didn't shower before I arrived and it stank. So not only are y'all messing with broke dudes, but y'all messing with musty dudes. I don't get it, like, I'm single. I'm like, I'm single, but I'm not musty. But y'all be messing with musty dudes? Can't even wash his ass. He needed some soap, a loofah, some rag. Um, I feel like this is bent, but this is the best it's gonna get cause I don't really have like a filming place to kind of just call like where I film, so anyways. Um, so the next down bad confession is I kissed my younger cousin on the lip and we made out. So, how young is he? Or she? Or... This is so bad, like I don't even... I had this extremely close guy friend. We would always talk about our love life. So, my dumbass fell for him. He asked to be f friends and well, you can imagine. Clown face emoji, clown face emoji, clown face emoji. <sighs> And you fell for it, huh? Like, I don't know if y'all really be thinking y'all gonna get something out of like being friends with benefits or... That means it's time for me to wash this shit out of my hair, which I'm very excited for because low-key itching. But, um, wait. Yeah, that... We're gonna go ahead and wash this shit out of my hair. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this shit out of my hair because you guys heard the alarm go off. I think that's enough, um, what's the word? Enough confessions for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, what you waiting for? Join the family. Join the familia. You guys already know. Um, comment down below anything. Let's talk in the comments. You guys already know. Um, by the time this video goes up, it'll be a minute since I posted, which is terrible, but we're still gonna work something out. Right? So, so, thank you guys so much again for watching today's video. Love you guys so much. And, uh, love yourself, bro. Stop letting all these ho lame ass people mess with your lives. Um, you guys are loved, appreciated, and valued. And you guys are bomb as fuck. And, yeah, we'll talk. I'll see you guys later. See you guys and I'll see you guys and I'll see you guys in another and I'll see and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Okay, Unks, so what are we doing? So why are you going on? It's for the time. You want me to talk like this? Yeah. No, no, talk how you want. So you gotta open up the app, turn on the remote first. Wait, drizzle in one. Yeah. Get on the app. Not recognizing you, man. Yeah, recognizing you, dude. So gnarly, dude. So rad, dude. I got the app. Turn on the drone. Double press. Oh shit. We're in business. We're in business right now. Business. Business. Turn off the app. Connect. Okay. Check the image out, man. Is that nice or what? Oh snap. Holy. Shit. That no, that's good quality. You ready? Yeah, let's go. That I connect to the satellite, you know, before I go. Satellite connected, it should tell you. Has been updated. Please check it on the so, right now, the satellite is updating like our location where we're starting from. So, in case there's issues, we can just click on this and it will tell you land it or come back to the house, right? Or to home. That's crazy, dude. So, let's get out. Of let's get out of here, man. So right now, we got a view oh. of where we're at. That is crazy, bro. A little view of the crossword. We can also zoom or pan the camera up and down. It. I think I'm more impressed by the quality than actually it flying. Okay, now. Okay, so sometimes you might lose your drone up in the sky and you you don't know how to get back home. So you have this option here. You click on it and you say return home, right? You leave it pressed, boom, and it's gonna come back home by itself without me doing anything. So you see the drone is making his, his way back home slowly. <laughs> right there that is crazy oh wait bro oh shit. i got control of it and i'm gonna land it well to land it like this you gotta be a pro and practice like me you know yeah yeah like you <laughs> i'm a beast yeah i'm a beast bro now it's gonna say it's gonna land Boom. That's crazy. DJ that was good. Crew, that was good. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that shit is fire. <laughs> yeah, that shit is fire. So, we getting one? So, I was gonna end this video because I have to wash. Because I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair now and take this stuff out. But I don't really want to end the video because it's been a minute since I've um, like filmed anything. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and then put some products in it. So.
Oh, that shit's sour as f That shit's disgusting. Also, my aunt put me onto this water. It's kind of fire, kind of fire. And um, it's apparently good for you, so. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, wash my hair, and then I'll be back. Sure, bro. You said what? Sure, bro. Okay, you want a box? What? I said sure, bro. So I have the bag. I have my uh, stuff. Oh, for me to put my hair in? Yeah. For the stuff to put in your hair, yeah. I just need to find the uh, sulfur eight. The what? The sulfur eight. Bro, he's taking a shower. Wait, is somebody else there? Kyla just opened the door. Hi, Kyla. Where are you going? I didn't. Where are you going? Nowhere. I didn't see my bottle. I don't know. Let me ask, let me ask my volume. I don't either. I don't Who was playing with this? So. Who was playing with this? Kyle, you were touching the camera? Yeah. I know it was you. Fate. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> You've been wearing this shirt for like three days now. This is day two. And the fact that you're trying to keep tabs in your... The tree is for... Uh, for dramaticism. What? It's, 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 it's a hyperbole. A what? A hyperbole. Okay. The boys here came out. Pretty good. I honestly just wanted to show you guys the end results of how my hair came out. Look, I brought you this, bro. It smell good, bro. Smell what is it? it? Take a sniff. I have to read it though. Take a sniff. So it's really infused with nacho. It's locked. It's not. Oh, it does smell good. Is this oil? What is it? It's a spray. For what? It's infused. It's tropical. Faith, you don't even know what this spray is for. <laughs> it, it does say for what it's for. It's for waves. No, it's not. It's for your application. Mesh general. Lorenzo, okay. it's all right. I'm just kidding. To joke. Wow. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys for tuning in, guys. Obviously, I can't. Can you do an outro? <laughs> I obviously have no kind of privacy and I can't even complete this video. Yeah, you can. I'm the favorite cousin. I'm the cousin that everyone wants to be around because they lie. love me so much. We I mean, bro, we know I'm the favorite. Bro. They just... I'm the big girl. <laughs> I'm like that cousin that everybody wants to be around constantly because um, they just love me and uh, I mean I don't blame them because what's not to love you know like what's not to love what's not to love you look good so that's what huh you heard me. anyways anyways so guys like the other day I, this, this is me being him the other day right like yeah I'm telling you but girl I'm going to be dead don't you want to miss me yes I gotta drink this nice flow of water and it's like it's like tastes different oh my god like to drink it again, it just tastes so different, like different on it, like it's lighter. Does that make sense? Does, does that make sense? Like it's lighter. Oh my gosh, there's an angel kisses. And you know, like that damn damn, but you know, my, my cousin be hooking me up, you know? If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe yeah, yeah, down below. Up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You're so annoying, fate.